you didn't answer the question. The question was, what's the area? Okay, and that's going to be one of the biggest problems y'all are going to face. You're going to find an answer and think, oh, okay, I'm done. Answer the question. <clears throat> so now I know that the height is 5 square roots of 3. I'm going to put it over 1 just because I have a fraction of 1 half. Just so I keep my numerators and denominators together. <laughs> Times 7 plus 12, which is what? 19. And now you can do this all this way and leave it as a radical, or you can do it on your calculator. I'll take either answer. It's, it's, it's the only time it's 82.3. What is it? 82.3. 82.3? Okay, well, doing, it, the, doing the math this way, 19 times 5 is 95 times the square root of 3 over 2. Just double check. All right. So either you're going to be given the two bases and the height of a trapezoid, or you're going to have to do this kind of stuff to find your height. Now let's look at another one that's a little bit different. What kind of trapezoid is this if the legs are equal? It's an isosceles trapezoid. Now let me show you something how cool. When I create something, is that 90? Okay. Now, not every isosceles trapezoid's got 60 and 60 down there. This one was given to us as 60 and 60. Okay. But this one creates two 30, 60, 90 degree triangles on the opposite ends. And they both have the same hypotenuse, which means they are congruent to each other, right? Okay, but watch this. Let's do our formula. <clears throat> I only know one of the three pieces of information right now. Okay. What is this center thing? Which means the bottom of the rectangle is 9. All right? This is the short leg of the 30, 60, 90 right triangle. And if I know the hypotenuse is 5, then what's the short leg? 5 times 2. 5 over 2. It's half. Okay? Or 2.5. I thought that 30, 60, 90, the hypotenuse equals 2 times the short leg. It does. But the hypotenuse is 5. We know the hypotenuse. So we're going to something smaller, so we're going to divide by 2. You're not looking for the hypotenuse. You know the hypotenuse. All right. Can somebody tell me what the other base is? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, 14. <laughs> 14. This is 2 1⁄2 plus 2 1⁄2, which is 5 plus 9. Okay, so I have base 1, I have base 2. Now what am I missing? Height. 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 Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem or special right triangle. Oh, for that. What is this um, opposite the 60? Long. The long leg. How do you find the long leg? The short leg multiplied by the square root of 3. All right, so now I have base 1, I have base 2, and I have my height. Okay, so I'm going to plug it in. It's 1 half times a height of 5 square roots of 3 over 2 times base 1, which is 9, plus base 2, which is 14, which gives me 23. <clears throat> or I could say 23 over 1. 
just to keep my fractions flowing. All right, well, how do you multiply fractions? Straight across. Numerators and then denominators. So in the numerator, we have 1 times 5 times 23 times the square root of 3. 5 times 23 is 115 times the square root of 3. In the denominator, I have 2 times 2 times 1. 4. All right, so that is the area of my trapezoid. As a decimal, right, 49.8. 49.8. I will always mess up the radicals, so I'm scared to wait. Well, I'll take either one. I'm, I'm lenient. Okay? So, the challenge to you is, well, there's a lot of challenges, but what should you do first when you see the, the picture? Find out what your area is. No, same same formula. Formula. Write down your formula that you need to use. Okay? And then see if you have all the pieces. If not, figure out a way to get all the pieces. Okay? All right. So your homework tonight is this.